Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about splitting and merging polygons in ArcGIS Pro. And as you guys can see, I have already loaded up the polygon feature that I'm going to use during this tutorial, which is this land parcel polygon. And if I were to right click and head over to the attributes table, you guys can see that the main columns that we have as attributes are the name of this parcel, which is basically uh, parcel A. And we also have a unique parcel ID as well as the area calculated in hectares in this case, about 3.73 hectares. And my objective today is to basically split this continuous polygon into three different separate parcels. And that's going to be extremely easy. All you have to do is just make sure that you have selected the layer. After that, head over to Edit ribbon right over here. And after that, click over here on the Select button and after that you can basically select the item just like this and now you can see that my polygon has been fully selected and after that if you just expand this tools box right over here well you would be able to see one tool called split and there are multiple ways of using this tool you can go with either line or if you know that the way that you would like to do your split includes a right angle you can go with this option or if you'd like to do the splitting which involves an arc, well you can use this tool as well but in my case I'm just going to stick with this line option. And the very first segmentation that I'm going to do is basically starting from this corner, split the polygon across this line. So in order to do that I'm, I'm going to make sure that I have enabled the snapping option just so that I would be able to snap directly onto the vertex of this existing line feature right over here. And all I have to do is just keep drawing the line across which I would like to do my splitting and my ending point is going to be somewhere over here. And now you can immediately notice that we managed to split the polygon into two different polygons. Well, I think for the time being, I will go ahead and change the colors just so that you guys would be able to clearly see when I split something. based on how the polygon selection happens. All right, now you can see that we basically managed to create two different polygons out of the single continuous polygon that we had previously. You can confirm this by, if you right click over here and go to attributes table, you would be able to see two records right now instead of one record that we had previously. However, there's an issue going on when it comes to the information that's included in each of these different records because now you can imagine that the area is no longer going to be this value and the parcel ID should also be a unique parcel ID for each of these different polygons as well as the name of the parcel. Well, now we have the option to basically add multiple uh, different names rather than just sticking with this parcel A name for both polygons but uh, we are going to get to that in a minute. And I'm also going to add my second split, which is going to happen across this line right over here. So I would like to cut my polygon across this line. And just like that, you would be able to see that we managed to create three different polygons. Now, if I go to select and use my select tool, you can see that now I'm selecting this polygon right over here. And then I switch my selection to this polygon. And finally, I have selected the third polygon. It's understandable that we might want to assign unique properties for each of these different polygons. So you can simply do that by heading over to the attributes table. And now let's say if you would like to call this polygon parcel A, well, that happens to be this selected one. So you can notice that whenever I use this select tool, and if I happen to select any of these polygons at a time, you can see that the corresponding record gets highlighted. So if I'm talking about this polygon right now, well, I'm going to name it as parcel A and the parcel ID, let's go with this ID and the area, it's going to be a certain area. And if I were to head over to this polygon, well, now I'm going to call this polygon as parcel B and let's do single digit increments when it comes to parcel ID. I'm going to call this parcel 11563 instead of 11562. And finally, if I were to select this polygon, you can see that we can go ahead and edit the name to be parcel C. And I'm going to change the parcel ID to be 11564. 
And when it comes to changing the areas, what you can do is you can basically deselect everything. And if you right click over here and go to calculate geometry, from here you would be able to do an area calculation and you can select the unit. I'm going to go with hectares and the coordinate system as well and then click OK. Well now with the new area calculation you can even see that there was an issue with the previous area calculation for some reason. However, we have gotten the updated areas right over here where parcel A happens to have an area of about 2.6 hectares let's say and parcel B about 2.55 and parcel C about 4.7. Alright guys, so that's about splitting a polygon. However, if you would like to merge this polygon back into one single continuous polygon, that's also going to be pretty easy. And to demonstrate that to you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually merge these two polygons together. However, I'm going to leave this polygon aside. So by the end of this exercise, I will have two different polygon segments out of which one is going to be this and the other one is going to be the polygon which gets formed when I merge these two together. So all I have to do is just make sure that I again select these two polygons together and head over to these tools and from here you can select this merge tool. And when you do that you can see that it's asking whether to preserve the attributes of this polygon or whether to preserve the attributes of this polygon because as you know once we merge and create one single polygon, we cannot really have the attributes of two different polygons embedded into one polygon. So we are going to have to let go the attributes of one of these polygons and we have to basically preserve the attributes of just one piece. So in this case, I'm just going to preserve the attributes of, let's say, this polygon right over here. So I'm just going to make this selection to be 10. And if you're kind of wondering where this 10 comes from, you can see that if I open up the attributes table, this FID happens to be 10 for this parcel B and FID happens to be 6 for this parcel A. So that's where the 6 and 10 comes from. It would have been nice if we had the opportunity to select by which field we would like to call each of these different polygons. However, well, we don't really get to do that. But anyway, when you do the selection from here, you would be able to see that the corresponding information changes right down below here. So let's preserve this polygon number 10 and click on merge and when you do that you can see that basically the split that we had right in the middle disappeared and now we managed to create basically one single polygon unit out of the two polygons that we had and if you are interested in doing changes to the attributes table afterwards well you can go ahead and do that as well especially if you would like to update the area in order to obtain the new area because now the area of this parcel B is not going to be this 2.55, it's almost going to be double of this. So you could do those area calculations after you perform the, the merge operation. Alright guys, that's about it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys again with another tutorial soon.